Good evening, I'm Alex Dierkman. A judge is ruling a federal prison in Terre Haute has 30 days from Friday to allow Muslim inmates group prayer any time they are out of their cells. The order is a clarification of a January ruling that said the prison's policy that prohibited Muslim inmates from group prayer was a violation of a federal law. Judge Jane Magnus Stinson writes, put simply, just as inmates are free to assemble, socialize, and engage in other group activities in common recreational areas during times they are released from their cells, so too must they be allowed to engage in group prayer in common out-of-cell areas, which the warden may designate in his discretion. Magnus Stinson's ruling indicates the warden had originally set aside a common room for group prayer three days three times daily, but later revoked that access and has been limiting prayer to two people at a time in a cell. The warden argued he was complying with the first order because in-cell prayers were groups of two and therefore still congregate prayer. Bloomington is preparing to remove enough dirt from Griffey Lake to fill more than two Olympic-sized swimming pools. The city is receiving bids for the work and plans to start removing the sediment next month. The contractor will be required to remove weeds and sediment from the 109-acre lake to deepen the lake and create greater mobility for wildlife. Bloomington Parks and Recreation officials say sediment flowing into the lake has made some parts impassable to boats. The Bloomington Utilities Department has agreed to store the sediment at an old sewage treatment plant and hopes to use the dirt once the city develops the McDowell switchyard just south of downtown. The Indiana Department of Insurance says individual Hoosiers purchasing health insurance will see their premiums increase by an average of 72 percent next year when the Affordable Care Act takes effect, but Democrats say that's unlikely. The average is based on premium costs submitted by four insurance companies that will be part of a health care marketplace available to Hoosiers beginning next year. State Senator Democrat Gene Bro says it is not fair for the department to put out the average number, considering many will not likely see an increase that high. But the Department of Insurance Chief Deputy Logan Harrison says it is not possible to break down how much each individual Hoosier will pay at this point. And here's a look at the weather. Tonight will be partly cloudy with a 20 percent chance of thunderstorms with 69 degrees as the low. Tomorrow, 86 degrees as the high and a 50 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms. And tomorrow night, partly cloudy with lows in the lower 60s. And here's a look at the five-day forecast. A cooler start on Wednesday with 59 degrees as the low and 78 degrees as the high. Thursday, mostly clear with 80 degrees as the high. Friday, a 20 percent chance of thunderstorms, 82 degrees as the high, 65 degrees as the low. Saturday, a 40 percent chance of thunderstorms, and Sunday, partly cloudy with 79 degrees as the high. For WTIU News, I'm Alex Dierkman.